Well, life was full of potential for a Utah County mother whose husband had just completed his medical residency. Then he was diagnosed with an incurable brain cancer. As health specialist Heather Simonson reports, while mourning the loss of her husband, she's now fighting her own battle. These are some of the last recorded moments <laughs> of the Holt family together on a dream vacation to Hawaii. Rob had only months to live. <laughs> These are pictures we took right after he was diagnosed after his surgery. We wanted to make sure we had some last family pictures together. It wasn't the first time Valerie had faced cancer. Oh, you've got green and blue hands too. Through surgeries and chemotherapy, she beat ovarian cancer when she was 12. This is your husband? Yes, this is him. Two years ago, Rob had headaches, nausea, and vision problems. Doctors found a mass, glioblastoma, brain cancer. His career was over, just like that. He'd been practicing in Nevada for just six months. To be told that, you know, it's over, everything you worked for, it's gone. And he's going to be gone soon, too. Your whole life as you imagined it. It's, it's over. Every day we'd lose a little bit of him. What do you miss most about him? He was the strength. He was the strong one. Why don't you lift it and see, what, see if yours is turning some colors? She and her girls had hoped for renewal. Ooh, that's pretty. It's you like can either accept love. that or you can go on like angry and bitter or you can accept this new path and see what can come of it. You need radiation regardless. Instead, an unwelcome visitor came for a third time. It was some hard news to swallow, especially being that it hadn't even been a year <laughs> since my husband passed away. At a routine checkup, her gynecologist felt a lump. I had explained my situation. I'm a single parent now and I need to be here for my kids. She has seven small tumors in her right breast. Do you have any uh, dental work or anything like that I should no. be aware of? Okay. Today, she's having a double mastectomy with reconstruction. I'm going to wake up looking different and feeling different. That's that's the hard part. That's the nervous, scared, fear part. As surgeons prepare the OR, Rob is on Valerie's mind. I can't help but think that he's going to be in there today, guiding those doctors. Dr. Jennifer Titenzer is her surgeon. You'll do good. Okay, awesome. And she is one tough kid. Look at everything she's been through in her life, and she's facing this full on. She's confident. Valerie's prognosis is good because her doctor caught it so early. She relies on a deep reservoir of strength and support. Mostly from um, those around me, um, my family and friends are lifting me up right now. And of course, God too. My plan is to be around for them for a really long time. <laughs> Look at your hands. <laughs> she hopes her courage will inspire others, especially the three little girls. Do you want a little darker or is that good? Oh, that's, that's good. good. That's good. Who call her mom. In Linden, Heather Simonson, KSL 5 News. Heather, thank you.